Reese Maletti, Centerville City Schools. We're going to give you a demonstration of what the newest maneuver looks like for the state of Ohio. If you're not in the state of Ohio, make sure that you check with your local DMV to make sure what your uh, requirements are for maneuverability. So, we're first going to put on our safety belt. For this first one, we're going to drive forward. We're going to put the front bumper of the bus between the forward, there's a box at the very front. You'll see it as soon as I start pulling forward. There's one that mirrors each side of this maneuver. So here we go. And you can go as slow as you want, but do not stop and start. Once you stop, they are going to mark your location at that place. So go as slow as you want, but no stopping and starting until you're ready to completely stop. So here's the box that I'm talking about. We're going to slow it down. When we look in our cat eye mirrors, we're going to stop when we're in the middle of it. Okay. Pull a brake, put it in neutral, honk the horn. That will indicate that we are, we have completed that aspect of the maneuver. Then we're going to, uh, if once they tell you to move on, you're going to move on to the next step in the maneuver. We're going to go forward completely of the parking space behind us. This maneuver is straight line backing, so we are going to back the bus straight up behind all of the cones. Once our forward bumper of the bus is completely behind the last set of cones, we'll stop, check our position, honk our horn. Okay, here we go. As it's on, we'll be before we back. Just stay in between the cones, that's all we gotta do. Okay, straight line backing. All the way back. So our governor cut off. All right, you can go as slow as you want, not a problem. And we're not going to stop until we are completely behind this last set of cones. And once we're behind the last set of cones, we do want to check our final position. Okay, I can see the set of cones completely in front of me, so I'll pull the brake, put it in neutral, and I will honk my horn. That will indicate I'm done with this portion of the maneuver. Now we're going to go to the third part of the maneuver. We're going to track our rear duel. Okay, tracking our rear duel, we will put the rear duel between the front cone, not the one way up there, but the front cone on the maneuver box, and there's a line to the left of it. It's three feet apart. We'll put the rear duel between those two markers. Here we go. All right. So, we cannot move over until the dashed lines begin. So, we will start moving when our rear duel is at that middle cone. And then we will line ourselves up to make sure that our rear duel, not your front steer tire, your rear duel goes between that location. Okay? So once we see that cone, we will put it between the cone and that solid white line that's to the left of it. And that is our tracking portion of the maneuver. Now, we can see that there is that full parking space behind us. We're going to, for the last phase of this maneuver, we're going to put the bus back into the position that we just kind of completed, with the exception that this time when we're going back, we're going to stop our rear bumper in the back triangular box like we did when we were going forward. Here we go. We 
are right between that box and pretty sure I'm right there. I'm not going to honk my horn yet. I want to check my final position to make sure that my depth perception is not off and uh, that we are in the location where we're supposed to be. So let's take a look. Between, this is the box that I'm talking about. We are between the cone and the front rectangular box line, so we're good. At this point in time, I would get back on the bus and honk the horn. That is an indication that we are done with the entire maneuver. So with each section of the maneuver, you're gonna honk your horn, but I don't want you to honk your horn until you've checked your final position on this last portion of the maneuver. Uh, once you've honked your horn and indicated that you're done, use the handrail, three point contact. You can indicate that you're done. They will not stop the test until you've indicated that you are done. And there we go. Now you're gonna go on the road, do your road test. 